Good morning, YouTube. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am getting ready to head to work. I have left the baby and Chris sleeping. I asked Chris last night, did, did him and the baby want to drop me off at school and pick me up? Because that kind of like shortens the amount of time that him and the baby are in the house together. All right, take three. Let's hope this battery is actually charged. They didn't want to take me because I was like, if the baby's awake, we'll take you. If he's sleeping, you just drive yourself. So I checked right before I left and to what I could hear, the baby was still sleeping, but that doesn't mean anything. I've been gone for less than a minute now and he could be awake and crying. So I hope that for Chris's sake and for the baby because it's really rough on him in the morning when he wakes up crying because I'm not there. So I hope that he stays sleeping and then I'm only doing half days for these next three days. So I'll be off by noon. That's why I took them because one, it's teaching E in middle school and they're only half days. So I was like, hopefully this will be easier days for the baby. Yesterday was a big day for the baby and in case you didn't know why, he is why. Nice walking. Woo! Yeah. So did you all see me walking? <laughs> Walking is hard work. Look how tired this little boy is. <laughs> so it's nap time. And you know what nap time means when he's with dad? It means car time. So you ready? Okay. Let's go take a nap. Hello. I just got done with work. The only thing was, so I got there. I had to be there 30 minutes before school starts. So I got there at 7.55. And then I didn't have a first period. And then they have like... Kind of what's like homeroom. I don't have a homeroom, so I didn't have kids for like a good hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes before I got there. So I was just like sitting there waiting. So and today was a short day, so like the classes were shorter. It's Wednesday, but tomorrow, like if I get there at 7:55, I'm not gonna have kids till like 9:53. So that'll be like two hours. I was gonna sit there. So I like asked her. I was like, hey, so. I don't have a first period or a homeroom, so do you still want me to come, you know, the normal like 30 minutes before school starts? Or is it okay if I just come like closer to the time when my second period starts? And she was like, no. She was like, that's totally fine. Just come, give yourself time, you know, like obviously like don't show up right when the period starts, but which is what the other sub, there was another like, so I was in the gym and the other sub that was in the weight room, she actually showed up late because she forgot it was a Wednesday and it was an early start time. So she showed up like anyways. So I had both of our classes to start, which was like a ton of kids. There was like 30, 40, there was like 40 kids in my class and probably another like 30 or 40 in her class. So I had like 80 kids that I was all handling in the gym. So I was like, awesome sauce. Moral of the story is tomorrow I get to sleep in, stay longer with the baby and that's like an extra two hours, you know? Pretty excited for that. And then I only have to do two periods and I'm done. Go me. Headed home now. Hopefully the baby and Chris are okay. So I am doing an emergency trip to the grocery store. You know, if I'm going to the grocery store on my own, there's a, a real reason. We just took the kid's temperature. He has a f temperature of 101. He's running a fever right now. He's two molars on his top jaw are coming in and they're causing him some serious distress and his temperature is right up there. It's a little bit a little bit nervy right now. We don't want to push our luck with it, so we're going to try. I'm going to start getting some medicine that will help, but if it doesn't work, there'll be no hesitation to take him to the hospital. So fingers crossed it comes down and he gets some relief. If not, we'll be making a trip to the hospital today. This is what the pharmacist suggested, Tylenol, because um, he's a big boy, you can have five milliliters five times a day. I know she was just doing a job, but she said, we got to keep his temperature down, or if we don't get this into him and he doesn't reduce it, it can it can affect his ears and make him go deaf. So, got to get this fever down. Now I've got to find some teeth and things for him. I don't know, maybe something like this should I get him? Or maybe something like that, or like that. Perks of modern technology, I'm just going to take photos on my phone now and get Casey to tell me which one to get. So this is what she told me to get, because it comes with this thing you can put on your finger and put it into his mouth to reach his back gums. Minus, the, forget the toothpaste, it's just for this. And we'll put the tooth silver stuff on it. I don't I don't like having a sick baby, that's for sure. It makes me makes me nervous. I just want him to feel better. Let's go, let's go home and figure it out. We're in urgent care. Holy baby. 
He's got Tylenol, now he's had ibuprofen. Now we have to wait to see if his temperature goes down. If not, they're taking us, sending us to the hospital. Uh, Look a little bit more lively though. Yeah, but if his temperature doesn't go down, we have to go to get blood work done at the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be good. So we want your temperature to come down and we want you to feel better. We thought this was due to his teeth coming through. Who knows if it still is, but... He was at 103? 103, they said. 103 degrees. Mm. <laughs> For someone mm. who's got 103 degrees temperature, you don't seem like you're... Uh... Yeah, it's you. <laughs> That's a nice kiss, Gavin. Thank you. Feel better. You want to press it? Press that? Nearly. Ah. There, get it, get it. Forty was at a ten. Jesse says he's at a four now. I don't know, I just think probably still at a 10 inside. All right guys, we just got home from urgent care. He had a, what, 103 degree temperature when we got there, which we left the house and we thought it was like around like, I don't know, 101 point something, one, almost 102. So good thing that we went because when they got there, they like immediately like took us back. And then they asked us what we had, we, which we had just given them the Tylenol before we left the house. So then they gave him some Motrin and then they were like, so now we just have to kind of wait and see if his temperature goes down. So we waited in the room for a while and they asked us a bunch of questions, which, you know, he hadn't been sick before, nothing irregular had happened. He hadn't like, you know, any rashes or diarrhea or vomiting or anything. So they came back and his temperature had lowered, which they were happy about because they were like, if it doesn't lower, you're gonna have to go to the hospital to get some blood work done. We were glad that it lowered. Definitely didn't want to take him to the hospital to get blood work done. So, and then basically like today, he woke up from his nap after I got home and he was kind of like lethargic-y after he woke up from his nap, just kind of like not himself, which we just thought maybe his teeth were bothering him because he kind of gets quiet when his teeth are bothering him, you know, doesn't open his mouth much. Um, I went to practice and then he was kind of still like, just kind of like mopey during practice. I mean, still playing and interacting with people, but just not like his normal vocal self. Chris was watching him while I was practicing and he had like an outburst of like tears. And oh, I told Chris, Chris had a meeting and, and I told him I felt like Bodhi was putting his head up against me and he was like so hot. I was like, I'm pretty sure he has a fever. And then, you know, but we live in Arizona so sometimes it's hard to tell, but he was super warm, a lot warmer than normal. And then like, it just got worse throughout the practice. And then he started crying when we were in practice. And then he fell asleep on the way home. His eyes were watering. So I put him down for a nap. When we got home, fed him and napped him. And then Chris went out and got some Tylenol and then came in and we took his temperature again and he was, uh, at 100 and 1.9 we gave him the Tylenol and then he started like crying because was like let's just take him to urgent care so good call Chris on taking him to urgent care we got him some Pedialyte because she said like keep him hydrated so hopefully he drinks this he didn't really drink the last one that we got him when we thought he was constipated got him some Motrin oh and then I got um I got a new thermometer because the one that we have is like a little cheapy one that came in like this like first aid kind of like baby set and, you know you have to stick it under his arm it's hard to read so we got this digital one hopefully it makes it easy to read it's you can just do it on his temple we'll see it's already eight o'clock now so i'm gonna sign off and put my little poop nugget to bed i gotta wake him up and give him the medicine she said because she's like it's important that he stays you know like while you're trying to get the fever to go down like just keep giving it to him on the times so we're gonna have to wake him up and give it to him which won't be fun but hopefully tomorrow he's feeling better i hope it's not a whole nother day of him you know feeling poorly so we'll see uh that's all thumbs up if you like this vlog subscribe if you want to see us tomorrow and we will see you later hopefully he's feeling better for his pumpkin patch day for his birthday the all the nurses were like oh happy birthday because his birthday is you know in three days now and they were like if his oh and that's the other thing she said call the doctor and try to get an appointment even though we have an appointment on the 14th for his one year checkup she was like tell him that you need a follow up to him being in the urgent care to check his ears because she was like he definitely has like a viral infection because he's got like fluid behind his ears and yada yada yada. We'll have to be doing this sometime in the next two days. She was like if it doesn't break by three days that's not a good sign. So hopefully it breaks tomorrow and this is you know the worst of it. See you guys later.